Hello everybody and welcome to my second intermediate tutorial and as mentioned in the previous tutorial I, this tutorial is going to be going through the sum if function so all I'm going to need for this is to put in uh, some random values down in here so let's just type some of them in and let's just repeat them because I can't be bothered to um, Oh, there we go, that's giving us some nice random numbers um, by filling a series. And uh, so, what the sum if does is it's going to take this column and it's going to add up these values, but only if these values equal a certain criteria. So, let's start writing our formula over here. Let's get rid of the sum if ones and so let's go equals sum if open bracket now unlike count if this uh, formula takes three parameters the range the criteria and the sum range so range and criteria pretty much the same as they were before so let's take the months again, comma, criteria. Well, we want January for this first one, so let's just click on the cell with January written it. And then the sum range is the range that sits uh, next to or aligned to this range. So you have to have one column versus another column uh, or one range. So if I just highlighted these and then just highlighted these but you, you you get the gist of it they have to be aligned to each other in a, in, in a table so uh, let's highlight this and then close bracket and that's given us 356 so it's taking this cell plus this cell plus this cell plus this cell plus this cell as you can see from the sum feature down in the bottom right which you get by right clicking here and ticking sum uh, 356.7, 356.7, excellent. Okay, so let's drop this down and let's just check a couple more. So let's take uh, August. So where's all here's August? And that's the only August 124.7, 124.7. So brilliant. That's so that all that's doing is going. I'm going to total up all of the values for this particular month or total up all of the values for this criteria here. So really useful for months, useful for uh, cities, useful for anything where you've got kind of a consistent set of data um, and then like a variable set of data. Um, so uh, that's that's it for some if um, I'm not sure if you can use the same with the count if with whether or not something's higher but I guess the only way we're going to find out is to try it so equals sum if open bracket select this range criteria let's go for greater than uh, 200 and then the range is going to be the actual range we've picked itself so this is given definitely given us a number so it looks like something's worked um, and if we go through and we find all the ones that are greater than 200 so one two three four five six seven eight two thousand one hundred and forty six point eight and 2146.8 and again let's try putting that to less than and that should give us the rest so that can be useful it could be used for kind of uh, flattening out data and things like that um, and again you could put the sum of it where it doesn't equal something and then there's, this will just give you the sum which is essentially the same as just writing sum but I'm sure that could come in useful at some point as well. So thanks for listening to this tutorial and I hope to catch you in the next tutorial.